Hi everybody, this is Charlie Stuang Stablack, and I'm honored to be sharing with you equations in slope intercept form. But first, let's pause this video right here so you can copy down classwork quiz number 47 and take care of your business. All right, go ahead and pause it. All right, so we're back from the pause, and we're going to be pausing throughout the notes right here. So this is uh, section 6.1, linear equations in slope intercept form. Pause it right here so you can write it down. Okay, and then you're going to pause it again. So an equation in slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. We've done this before, so this lesson's going to go fast. All right, so after you're done, copying this down, and go ahead and uh, we're going to unpause it and keep going. So keep just keep pausing as something a new text comes up. So write an equation of the line with the given slope and the y-intercept. Okay, here's number one, slope four, y-intercept of negative three. Pause it so you can write this down. Okay, this is nice and easy, you guys. It's y equals mx plus b. This is my m, this is my b, so it's just the answer staring right at you. Y equals 4x minus three. Okay, keep pausing where you need to so you can write it down. Number two, slope is four-thirds, y-intercept is eight. So, y equals four-thirds x plus eight. Piece of cake. All right. Okay, section C, write an equation of the line shown. Here's number one. Okay, pause it so you can copy that graph down. All right, all right, so right there is your B. Your B is down there at negative two. Okay, and your slope then is rise over run, and so we had to go up three to the right two, so it's rise up three, and then to the right two, rise over run is three over two, so there we go. Y equals three over two X minus two. Okay, here's number two. Uh, okay, this time, uh, there's your B right there at plus 1. So, got to get your slope. So, it went down 2 to the right 4. So, your slope is negative 2 over 4. That reduces to negative 1 half. And then, uh, there's your answer right there. Y equals negative 1 half X plus 1. And then, here's the assignment that goes with that.